Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in East Bumblefuck, New Mexico on this gorgeous spring Saturday morning, I believe, May 27th, 2017 here, Memorial Day weekend, cranking up here in the land of the clueless fucking morons. Uh, otherwise known as planet Earth, I guess. Uh, so it is time for me to dive into my weekly <coughs> clueless moron roundup rant where I just simply go on the pages of the mainstream media to see the multitude of examples of how this planet's collective IQ is heading directly uh, into the toilet and I have some bad news. Imagine that, Hambone. We have some sad news. Some sad news on the planet today. My old buddy whose name I will not even attempt to pronounce. Don't know, I get out, get out your hankies for the planet and kiss goodbye Zbigniew Brzezinski. I have no idea how to pronounce Z B I G N I E W. Mr. I guess it's Brzezinski has died. The, the, the planet has had a tragic loss here. Uh, anybody who does not understand the shadow government, the shadow government and the New World Order. Uh, any clueless fucking moron uh, wanting to educate themselves on the shadow government and the New World Order need, just needs to take a look at this fucker. Goodbye and good riddance. Anyway, so let's get into our... Uh, I, I, I love it when the mainstream media ask a question and the Associated Press's question of the day. What if the U.S. quits the climate deal? It doesn't look good for planet Earth. <laughs> uh, there, there you go. It does not look good for the, the, the answer to the question what if the U.S. quits the climate deal? The answer to that question is, <clears throat> we are so fucked. Of course, they do not ask the question, what if the U.S. does not quit the climate deal? What if the U.S. stays in the Paris climate deal? The answer to the question, what if the U.S. stays in the climate deal is we are so fucked. This is because the clueless fucking morons on the mainstream media and anybody supporting the Paris climate deal, any fucking clueless moron uh, supporting that has failed to understand it makes no fucking difference. As kind of this article points out, and how many times did I said it, uh, the difference of Donald Trump pulling out uh, of the Paris climate deal is we're going to go into a burning lake of fire at 77,000 miles an hour instead of 67,000 miles an hour. Uh, if, if the U.S. stays in it, we might keep this house of cards called a planet standing, I don't know, for maybe two or three years longer uh, th than if we pull out. Speaking of pull out, pull your head out of your ass. Uh, that should be the question. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, moving on. <clears throat> now, Many stories about uh, about this this guy, this billionaire 
Republican, some sort of billionaire Republican techie up there in Montana who body slammed a Guardian reporter, broke his glasses. I mean, he assaulted, literally physically assaulted a, a reporter for uh, having the balls to actually ask him some questions. This guy, what is this uh, fucktard's name? Giant Fort Greg, I don't know if it's Gian Forte, Giant Forte, I don't give a fuck uh, what his name is. So even after he does this, Giant Forte wins Montana special house election despite being charged with assault. And I don't think he was charged with assault as he should have been, but really, the, the, the reason this story is important uh, is, is what I've been talking about in the 2018 elections, as all of these Republican politicians need to decide whether to stick with Donald Trump or say, We've got nothing to do with this fat motherfucker orangutan Cheeto head in the White House. And so this was kind of a test case for coming up in 2018. The special election <clears throat> was considered a crucial first test for Republicans looking ahead <clears throat> looking ahead to next year's 2018 midterm elections on the tricky question of whether it is politically safer to stick with Trump or to run against him, Gianforte, who narrowly lost a gubernatorial bid last year after keeping Trump at a distance, did just the exact opposite in this race, fully embracing the GOP president's playbook. He endorsed the president's decision to fire James Comey and expressed skepticism about all of this Russia shit. Uh, <coughs> and uh, he, he even uses these terms, drain the swamp and make America great again. Uh, lines he emphasized again in his victory speech. So this is just going to show you. Uh, if you are a Republican candidate, you better damn well stick with Donald Trump. It's going to be interesting to watch this play out, uh, particularly if Donald Trump is actually still in office in the middle of 2018. Okay. What is from the uh, from the White House, or well, I guess from Montana back to Washington, D.C., the you know shit Sherlock story, House approves bill seeking to upend EPA pesticide rule. <laughs> The House on Wednesday passed a Republican-backed measure reversing an Environmental Protection Agency requirement that those spraying pesticides on or near rivers and lakes must file for a permit. So now, if you want to just go up there in an airplane and dump pesticides according to this, just into lakes and rivers. You don't need to bother with those pesky permits from the Environmental Protection Agency. Okay, I will let anybody uh, out there decide, why did I include this headline in a clueless moron roundup rant? Electric vehicles are now the cleanest cars in America. <clears throat> Electric vehicles have been billed as the sustainable alternative to gas 
guzzling cars. Okay, we've talked about, uh, I think we've heard enough about that goddamn clueless moron in chief. What is going on with the first whore? The first whore, Melania Trump. What is the nation's first whore up to uh, this week? Melania Trump wore a coat that cost more than most Americans earn in a year. <clears throat> first whore, Melania Trump wore a $51,500 Dulce and Gabbana jacket to a meeting with the spouses of some of the most powerful world leaders in the annual G7 summit, uh, <clears throat> making $51,500 annually would put you in the 65th percentile of individual earning Americans. There you go. Okay, from that clueless fucking bitch over there to this. <laughs> I, I, know you, I know you've heard this, and guys, I, I need to be real careful here because uh, I might have to do a separate rant on this, but I'm just going to take the, uh, the I'm just going to take the attack of the mainstream media having a field day with our clueless moron head of uh, housing and urban development. Yeah, uh, Ben Carson. Ben Carson, you know, his famous quote this week, that poverty, I th quote, I think po poverty to a large extent is also a state of mind. So uh, I guess whoever this is, Pop Sugar US, uh, looked up poverty in the dictionary to see if poverty is defined as a state of mind. Uh, let's see. It would be Okay, poverty, I guess according to the dictionary, is the condition of having little or no money, goods, or means of support. <clears throat> anyway, guys, uh, I've actually done rants on this that uh, Ben Carson is right, that poverty is... I don't know to a large extent, but to some extent, a state of mind. Anyway, this is a follow-up story to my good news hallelujah story about that, uh, that elephant that uh, just squashed to death that goddamn clueless fucking moron big game hunter over there in Africa earlier this week. Hallelujah, three cheers for that elephant. So I guess uh, live science picking up on that article, looking at the bigger picture, hunting big game. Why people kill animals for fun. And this means as opposed to killing animals for food. Uh, anyway, the life science breaks this down. Uh, <clears throat> I guess the New York Times looked into this. Government sanctioned hunting is a booming enterprise in some African countries with visiting hunters spending an estimated $200 million annually to go over there and get their little tallywhackers standing up 
by uh, shooting these defenseless animals. Uh, remember, I get all Cecil the Lion, that clueless fucking moron dentist, Walter Palmer, uh, spent approximately $54,000 to gun down Cecil the Lion. Uh, Anyway, guys, I could do a whole rant on this. Um, final line be, uh, why should anyone spend money to protect an animal that a wealthy American can then pay to go kill? Okay, from those clueless fucking morons, I absolutely uh, love uh, love this one. <clears throat> Not asking a <clears throat> a question exactly, just kind of answering the question: Why the iPhone 8's one thousand dollar price tag will not impact sales one bit? The reason the iPhone 8's $1,000 price tag will not impact sales one bit is because of the number of clueless fucking morons on the planet who think uh, spending $1,000 on the 8th version of a smartphone is the highest and best use of their money. Is, is, there, is, there, any, is there any fucking clueless moron who does not understand why the iPhone 8's $1,000 price tag will not impact sales one bit? Uh, we're just uh, grazing on through in no particular order. Let's go from those clueless fucking... Let's go look at some, some breeders. Some warm, fuzzy stories about breeders in the mainstream media today. Oh, who was it? Uh, Osama number five. I appreciate alerting me to this story. Sex tuplets thriving after delivery at Virginia Hospital. Wow. A Virginia hospital says its staff successfully delivered sex tuplets, and the three boys and three girls are thriving. There you go. The babies were born May 11th to parents who had tried to conceive for 17 years. 17 years of trying to breed and they get six of the little bundles of joy. Many versions of this story Christian school bans immoral, immoral pregnant teenager from attending her own graduation. A pregnant teenager, an honor student with straight A's, has been branded immoral by her Christian school and told she cannot attend its graduation ceremony. Uh, Officials at Heritage Academy said Mari Runkles, age 18, was not welcome at the event because she held, had to be held accountable for her immorality. Quote, Maddie is being disciplined not because she is pregnant, but because she was immoral. There you go, and uh, 
as long as we are on there, I think, uh, where was it? Oh shit, I guess I don't, I don't have it. Oh, here it is. Um, uh, <clears throat> extremely normal shirt gets an honor roll student banned from graduation. A high school senior with a grade point average of 4.4, .4, I didn't know there was such thing as a GPA of 4.4, .4, will not be allowed to walk at her own graduate graduation this year. Why, you guessed it, her clavicles. Uh, this picture of this, it, it, it's just a regular shirt. Uh, I remember I was banned from my from my elementary school uh, graduation. I, I was uh, I was uh, well not just suspended. I was expelled from school on my last day of seven years at Fernbank Elementary School because of my boots that I was wearing. So I know what. Uh, what this young lady feels like. Let's see, as long as we're talking about immoral teen moms, teen mom OG stars Amber Portwood and Matt Bayer considering sex tape release. Amber Portwood's uh, and, and the teen mom, OG co-star, and longtime frenemy. I, I don't know what, I, I have no idea anyway. Uh, get, getting on this, U.S. Weekly confirmed that Amber and fiance Matt Byer are shopping around a sex tape. Uh, and, and anyway, I, I wish you could see this fat, ugly bitch. <clears throat> Do you know what this fat, ugly bitch looks like? Anybody who would uh, shell out $5 for a sex tape uh, of this clueless fucking fat, ugly bitch. I, I don't get it. Uh, all right, what's going on with immigration? We, What is... How is the new hardline immigration policy. I just absolutely love this headline. U.S. immigration agents eat arrest free at Michigan restaurant. It's unclear from the headline whether they arrested these three folks before they ate them. According to this, these immigration agents, it looks like they ate the immigrants and then arrested them. How do you arrest somebody you just ate? I, anyway, I don't have time to uh, figure that all out. Uh, this next story, I don't know what it's doing in a clueless moron roundup rant. This is just a no shit Sherlock statement. Global survey says magic mushrooms are the safest recreational drug. <laughs> well, obviously the uh, the person who came up with that conclusion uh, is not a doomsday prophet, but I don't have time. I might have to come back to this one. Uh, magic mushrooms are the safest rec recreational drug more stories i've already been over this about kids swallowing these fidget spinners J just the latest craze of the clueless fucking moron children here is miss black texas 2016 arrested an east texas police chief is on leave pending investigation after he was accused of wrongfully arresting Miss Black Texas 
2016, I guess, an altercation in a Walmart parking lot. A Walmart parking lot. Uh, yes, yeah, somewhere in the middle of this. Uh, Anyway, I guess she was arrested for uh, refusing to apologize to a cop. I, 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 who the fuck knows? <clears throat> you know, if, if, if I had to find the single, the single, uh, if you had to put clueless morons and define them into one particular, uh, what would you call the price? I, I can't even think uh, of, of a proper word to use to describe. The price is right. Meet the overly enthusiastic price is right contestant who just broke the Plinko record. I have no clue what Plinko is. I am absolutely clueless moron. Have no clue what Plinko is. But anyway, a 23-year-old Price is Right contestant who lost his mind, who lost his mind after setting a new record on Thursday Night Show says... He puts his success down to his job at Target. <clears throat> Let's see, uh, probably seen this story about this 27-year-old woman who jumps onto the hood of moving car to prevent carjacking at gas station. Uh, amazingly, uh, amazingly, she wasn't, uh, amazingly, she wasn't killed. Speaking of clueless morons, uh, jumping into things, uh, I, I, <clears throat> I don't even know, good God, teen girl throws herself into river for blue whale suicide challenge. A, a young girl's life was saved uh, by a group of young men after she reportedly attempted to jump into a turbulent river to complete a suicide challenge referred to as Blue Whale. Individuals involved with Blue Whale suicides in the variants of the challenge are referred to by local media as death groups. Guys, uh, I, I, you know, uh, what, what the fuck is this thing? Uh, the Blue Whale Challenge. It looks like my computer does not want to tell us what the fuck the Blue Whale Challenge is. What it is, is, as far as I understand, it's some sort of app. Some sort of fucking video game meets app where I guess the final challenge is to kill your fucking clueless moron ass. Uh, let's see, a couple more I want to end up with, uh, I want to end up with the Pope. My computer just seems to, uh, my computer just seems like it's, it's just gone to sleep. But anyway, uh, we're, we're going to wind up since my computer has already wound up and just said it's sick and tired of this rant, so it's no longer going to participate. But uh, I'm going to come back to this story. Th th this story belongs in how many days of the week? Uh, 
probably should have let off and not close with this since I'm talking to myself about the Pope giving Donald Trump his 192 page treatise on climate change. Uh, the Pope believing for one fucking second that clueless fucking moron in the Vatican actually believing that Donald Trump uh, has the intellectual capability much less just the uh, basic interest of, uh, of reading a 192 page encyclical on climate change, but uh, we'll, we'll get back to this story again next week as Donald Trump decides whether or not to pull out of the Paris Climate Agreement while the clueless fucking limp dick mainstream environmentalists actually believe it makes a fucking difference. But with that, I'm going to wrap up this week's Clueless Moron Roundup rant and uh, figure out what to do with this gorgeous day here in the end times. And it is Memorial Day weekend, so I'm heading off to a blues festival in Silver City, New Mexico. Don't know whether I'll have a doomsday sermon or not. Uh, my, I'm going to be out there joining the legions of clueless morons celebrating Memorial Day, celebrating uh, bullet bags. People who have died for the cause of man Americans. But, uh... I won't get into that clueless moron roundup rant here on uh, Memorial Day. Bye, guys.